We're a church that comes out of a traditional background of church, but we want to explore what it means to be a, a church that's really engaged with all kinds of people across the diversity of our neighbours. Um, one of the things I think I love about this church is its location. I think we're in an amazing spot here uh, with a crossing over of lots of different people groups. And I think one of the biggest challenges we face is how incredibly successful um, apartheid has been. Um, we're still very much divided by, by race and by class into different areas. So um, it feels like we're a place which is a bit of a junction and can be a crossing point and a bridge between communities. Mom Space has been running now for over four years and we welcome any mom or carer of children three years and under. We've got the carers who are predominantly from African backgrounds and the moms who are predominantly from uh, white, more middle class backgrounds and to have some social integration and social mixing which with the past in South Africa has been difficult. I think the nannies also really enjoy being able just to meet up with other nannies, just to be relaxed, a space where they can feel safe, they can come in here and they can really just sit down and have a chat and that's a really important moment in, if you're, you know, in your working life. The challenge is that um, the, the general attitude can often be, um, I come and what will you give me? What will your church give? What will you do, you know? Do you offer better worship or preaching or music or youth work than the church next door? God is a God who's on the move and he calls us to be on the move, reaching out. And so I think a big part of that is about inspiring and equipping and empowering people to be released into the ministries that God has called them to. I mean, one of those things which has been really exciting in the last few years is some of the Future Life ministry, which Ronald has been heading up. We want to help kids look at the future and also like how to to find purpose for their life. We started out with 23 kids in a primary school in Capricorn. Right now, we serve more than 350 kids. The people where we do these programs is a place called townships, which is basically poverty or below poverty. It's a loving community which is rife with drugs, gangsterism, alcoholism, parents who don't care. What we try to teach these young people is, yeah, just to give them hope, just to inspire them. I feel like we're taking more of a prototyping approach now to things, kind of saying, let's try. We see a little bud of growth, something happening over here. Let's water that and see what happens and, and grows. Ladies Linking was started to encourage women, to support them, but also to challenge and grow. And so it isn't just to prop women up, but it's to help them to look further than their own circumstances to say how should my perspective be changed on this and what is God's perspective on what I am going through at the moment. We would love women to learn how to support other women. So to not just come themselves to be fed or to be encouraged, but to learn how to take that to another place themselves. The heart of discipleship is a call to come and serve and to give of ourselves. And it's uncomfortable for a congregation because <laughs> you're always saying, well, actually, like, you are the church. Don't look at those who stand up in front and are the leadership. Actually, it's, it's you. What are you doing? What's God calling you to be and to do? We came up with three things that we'd like this church to be. We'd like this church to be a home. But secondly, we'd like it to be a harbour where we equip, encourage and send out people. And then thirdly, we'd like this church to be a hub where we partner with all those who have a similar heart and a similar call to reach a broken and a hurting world with the love of Christ. Mm -hmm.